MMO progression series. We all love them. We watch them a lot. I watched so much old school RuneScape, I might as well have an honorary maxed Iron Man account. I've never fought Zolra, yet I've spent dozens of hours staring at that arena. I made my first MapleStory progression series in late 2020. I sound so much younger in those videos, it's not even funny. I've played MapleStory for 15 years, and I've always struggled to find a class that I can just stick to. I've done a couple more since then, but I've hopped around servers and main characters so many times in the past few years that I haven't really been able to hold on to anything for too long. Most recently, I did a reboot progression series that was primarily focused on raising boss mules. This was a super fun series to make, though it kind of came at a time where I wasn't really happy with where my life was or where it was headed. Since then, I've made changes, taken control of my life, and wrapped up that reboot progression series to look towards the future and do something I'm much happier with. Throughout the reboot progression series, I would find myself playing all kinds of classes in pursuit of 9k Legion. While I did eventually reach that goal, and for that I'm proud, the real achievement was giving time to a few dozen classes and ultimately finding a few diamonds in the rough, so to speak. Classes that I would never take a second glance at suddenly shot up to the top of my list in terms of potential main status. There's probably a few, but out of all of them, the one that grabbed my attention and continues to hold it to this day is one that I don't talk about much. But after playing Kadena, I realized that I actually kind of, I really love Kadena actually. Playing Kadena up to 200 was really, really fun. I kind of really like this class. I think it might be my new favorite thief. Kadena. Kadena makes up roughly 0.9% of the population in GMS. It's not extremely popular due to its high skill floor and exorbitantly high skill ceiling, but that's what interests me. When I was working towards 9k Legion in Reboot, I played a Kadena up to level 210. What I found was that while it is pretty difficult to play, especially in a bossing scenario, holy shit, it's insanely fun. This was many months ago though. I had a lot more to accomplish in Reboot before I even entertained the idea of playing Kadena. Not to mention, my reboot main is a paladin, and that's pretty set in stone at this point. It'd be hard to just switch suddenly. So we're going back to Bera. Now, there's a constant debate about which is better, reg server or reboot. I think it's safe to say that for the vast majority of players, reboot is the better option. But I'd be lying if I tried to tell you guys that I enjoyed reboot. I don't really like the way the progression works, and I just kind of never have. There are a lot of aspects about reg servers that I personally prefer. You might disagree, and that's fine. I'm not here to change anyone's mind. My goal is to take a Kadena to endgame in Bera, my favorite server, while chronicling my journey in an entertaining and informative way. I know a lot of you watching don't actually play MapleStory, and I think that's cool. It's an honor to me that you enjoy my content enough to watch, despite not even playing the game. I mean, hey, I do that with Settled's videos as well as many other OSRS content creators, so I get it. But for this series, especially because it's in reg servers, and good information about reg servers can be hard to come by, I want to try and share my knowledge about this game in a digestible way. I don't know everything though, and you shouldn't necessarily take what I say as factual, but I'll do my best. On the topic of not knowing things, I'm a complete beginner when it comes to Kadena. I can thrash cancel, and I have a comfortable keyboard layout that was handed down to me by the Kadena main, so I have some of the basics down. But let's just take a quick look at my bossing skills currently so we have a point of reference moving forward. Oh no, that's gonna be embarrassing. I think it's time to go ahead and set a baseline for my skill level on Kadena. I don't really want to do this because it's gonna be very embarrassing, but it'll be really good to see how much better I get at the class moving forward. Right now, I actually am not very strong, so what I plan on doing is upgrading a few pieces of gear. I'm gonna just put like maybe a couple bill into this character just to kind of test things out. Wow, look at all these cubes that I am just not gonna use on anything. Uh, so I'm gonna go make this character a little stronger so that I actually have a chance to kill something. Cause right now with 4.1K stat, I can kill like Hard Ron Maru, an easy Cygnus. I need a little more than this. So let's invest some Mesos onto this character that I am going to use as a throwaway purely for the sake of testing my skills on Kadena. 
Imagine tearing up. Imagine tearing up. Imagine tearing up and crying because you didn't get a tear up in Maple Story. I actually really could care less about my mesos in Reboot. I make so much per week. I get about five bill per week if I choose to do bosses. So I don't care about spending two bill on a character just to um, just to demonstrate something in a video. That's fine by me. Is that triple prime? You know what, dude? <laughs> I've put so much into that fucking thing already. Fuck it. All right, I got 10% cooldown skip. I think I'll just settle for that. Maybe I can roll some plus attack on epic or something. I don't know. All right, so I'm all set up to go. I got a little more stat, decent bit more damage. All is good. Uh, I don't remember what skill it is. I think this skill actually gives you an iframe, which is awesome. But I don't remember which skill it is that gives you full stacks. Ah, Chain Arch Crush. That's what it is. So, we're gonna go ahead and hop into a couple bosses. I should theoretically, with this kind of, with these kinds of stats and this kind of range, I don't know, that IED is a little low. Uh, am I sure I'm on the right? <laughs> yeah. This is with all of my Legion buffs, by the way. This character is just mad weak. So, uh, with all of this, uh, I might be able to kill Zackum, Chaos Zackum, but... We're just going to go in to all these bosses and see uh, what I can do. I fought Chaos Zackum, Normal Magnus, Hard Hilla, and Normal Papulatus to get a sense of where I was at skill-wise. I ended up surprising myself a bit with my competence playing the class. Hard Hilla was mostly just an HP sponge, so I got to spend a lot of time focusing on dealing damage rather than worrying about mechanics like I did with Chaos Zackum and Normal Magnus. During the Hard Hilla fight, I really started to feel the Kadena vibes. It's satisfying, and I was all about that. The number of lines, the sound effects, it activates the right neurons. After this, I felt much more confident in my decision, and it was time to officially get started. All right, we're in Barra. We have some, I guess, some cutscenes to do. Maybe I think we have a quest line up to 30, but I have a mega character burninator in my storage that I got from the daily rewards, the daily login rewards. So today, the goal is to reach 200 on this Kadena. Should be pretty easy. Leveling from 1 to 200 usually doesn't take me longer than one sitting, especially on an account with Legion and Link skills. But I don't think there's a whole lot for me to say right here, so let's get to grinding. Okay, alright. Let's quickly cover one of the major differences between Reg Server and Reboot. One of um, many uh, annoyances that uh, comes with playing Reg Servers is a lack of accessibility of Hyper Teleport Rocks. You can spend $10 to get one that lasts 30 days, which is what I usually do. But for the time being, I don't have enough reward points to get this. Damn it. All right, then I guess I'm buying this one. So we get uh, five days from this, from these. I believe it's five days. Uh, and then we get 14 days from this. So we get a total of 19 days of Hyper Teleport Rocks for free. Uh, legitimately, I don't know why Nexon just... Why give us two-thirds of the month? for free instead of the whole month. I just, I really don't understand. I don't get it. Uh, at least in reg servers, there is something to spend reward points on because I get a ton of them. There was a time in my reboot progression series where I had like 50,000 reward points I couldn't spend because there's just nothing to buy in reboot, which is something they really need to fix. Anyway, that's just one of the many things to discuss. Uh, also pet snack for 2,500 RP, one every 30 days. So free pet snack which is pretty cool. So before we get into actual leveling, let's just quickly cover one of the most important differences between Reg and Reboot, the reward shop. In Reboot, the reward shop is barren. There's almost nothing to spend reward points on. The only truly valuable item is the monthly water of life you can get. So you can reasonably keep all your pets alive for free by utilizing these, assuming you're not paying for a vac pet that is. Yeah! 
prior to November 2022, you were able to buy Fury Totems slash Wild Totems for 1,800 reward points apiece, up to a monthly maximum of 15. I have my thoughts on totems and spawn enhancers, which we'll cover a little later, but after Nexon removed those totems from the game, the reward shop in Reboot became almost completely worthless. I don't know if they have plans to fix this in the future, but it's a major source of annoyance having absolutely nothing to spend reward points on. It's actually commonly recommended for Reboot players to make a Rag server character just so they can sell some of the items that you can purchase in the Rag server reward shop to bring in some extra maple points. Now, the story is a little different in Rag servers. As you can see, we have quite a collection of items available for purchase here. And while it still leaves a bit to be desired, when compared to what Reboot has to offer, this is borderline unfair. The most notable items are the Hyper Teleport Rocks, the Monster Park Entry Tickets, which are available in Reboot as well, but since multiple entries into Monster Park can only be purchased with Maple Points outside of Reboot, these hold a lot more value in Barra. The Platinum Scissors of Karma, which are used to make certain items tradable once, are particularly useful as well, even if you only get to purchase one per month. You can even buy a pet snack, allowing you access to triple pets for free, a 100% Golden Hammer coupon, which can be sold for a bit of mesos in the auction house, and glowing and bright cube coupons, which similarly to the Monster Park entry tickets, are available in Reboot, but are more valuable outside of it. I think the biggest mid to long term items available for purchase here though are the slot expansions and possibly the upgrade materials, though I've never actually used those upgrade materials myself. Until we max out our inventory space, that's where the bulk of the reward points we get are going to go. There's no super reliable way to expand your inventory slots, especially off event where you don't have the option to purchase slot expansion coupons from an event shop, so this is our best option for doing so. I'll also be maxing out the Monster Park entry tickets every month as well because I am not interested in paying Maple Points for Monster Park entries. These will most likely always be used on Sunday Monster Park since that's a good source of 2 times coupons. I might even get the Miracle Circulators, just to see if I can roll some crazy RNG. The moral of this story is, Reg Server Reward Point Shop is actually useful, whereas Reboots is kind of just an afterthought and a slap in the face. Oh boy. Feels weird being back in, uh, Barra. Actually, I'm not done. There's still more to talk about. So I'm going to use the Mega Character Burninator at level 11. I'm pretty sure this is one of the levels where you can use it and it'll give you the maximum effect. Uh, but I also need pets. Uh, I don't have any, so I need to, need to grab some. Ooh, basic unit damage skins are getting pricey. 2.6 bill for one. I should probably yoink one of these ASAP before they start going up in price again. Ah, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so one of the things that I really need to get is a pet. So I have a lot of, I have a vac pet and I have a fire starter ring in Barra, but they're both on my Cygnus Knight cash inventory. As you can see, these pets that you can buy for very cheap in the auction house come with Meso Magnet item pouch, standard. Auto move, I think is also standard, but you also get auto buff with these pets which is insanely useful. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a set of Evan, Luminous, and... What's the last one? Phantom? Because I love these cats. And they're currently in rotation. They won't be forever. But they sure are right now. <laughs> they sure are right meow. Oh my god, bro. I mean a clown right now, and that's just unacceptable. Uh, of these three, I think Phantom is probably my favorite. Let me go ahead and buy some auto HP, auto MP, and uh, get to the grind. I don't know if there's anything else to talk about right this moment, but there will be more stuff in the future. I'm also going to get my MVP Bronze 4 gift pack. Bro, what? Bronze 4? Are you a millionaire? Wow, these MVP Bronze rewards suck. <laughs> Two 30-minute coupons? Come on. Uh, I don't think I'll even bother using that. All right. Off to the grind. Off to the frozen game. Don't crash. Okay, off to the grind.
still working on the uh, introductory quests for Kadena, but I was thinking about gear upgrades. Eventually, I am going to want to buy a full set of decent gear for this character. But for the time being, I think I'm going to approach this similarly to how I would approach uh, Reboot. I'm just going to carry around a bunch of mystical cubes and some mesos and in this case, spell traces and just upgrade the drops that I get to be a little bit stronger and go from there. I don't know if I have any potential scrolls. Okay, I have a couple, just a few. And I'm going to go ahead and just carry these around and upgrade gear as I go. Because we're in reg servers where monsters have a lot lower HP, I think like half on average, but it, it varies from area to area. One shotting is way easier. So I really don't need to worry too much about gear. If I still had the training gear that I used for my characters uh, when I was working on reaching 8k legion a long time ago, I would probably just use that and be perfectly fine. I don't think I'll really bother getting gear until 200 because I probably won't need to. Uh, real quick, I think it's time to go ahead and claim some of these rewards. I'm going to get the prepared spirit of the pendant, sp sp pand impaired, pendant impaired, spirit of the Fuck it, dude. It's, I don't even care anymore. I'm also going to get the unique chaos pink bean mark. It's not a black bean mark, but it's aight. You know, this is going to need to be reflamed. And perfect. Just, why am I talking to her? The perfect item to grab. The black flames. Let's get a good flame on this. Fuck it. Why not? I don't think I have anything better to use this on anytime soon. It doesn't really matter too much. 6% all stat. Jesus. It would be cool if I could get some uh, luck with that. Woo! Okay, never mind. I think we're good on uh, the flame for this. So I'll save the last five of these for uh, probably an arcane chain, which I will buy pretty soon. Not bad. Not bad. This is totally untradeable, so I guess I can go ahead and just scroll it now the scrolling on this isn't going to matter too much this is an eye accessory so it will probably be replaced with a black bean mark though i wonder if there's any point in doing that because this is effectively the same thing right um let me go double check real quick this is very min maxi because i don't think there's a big difference between the pink bean mark and the black bean mark. Yeah, they're actually identical. Um, the only difference... No? No, they're identical. They're actually identical in every way. Level, stats, attack, even the defense, the number of slots, the number of stars. They're identical, so there's um, going to be pretty much no reason to replace this unless I boom it on the way to 20, which is likely. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and scroll it now. Probably a bad RNG. I can always just bring this back to innocence <laughs> why did i phrase it like that i can always just innocence scroll this in the future but i want to go ahead and just i mean i don't need to star force it now but i am going to use this at 135 so i'll go ahead and get it out of the way now and go ahead and get this to 10 stars and i might try to hold on to this for an anvil as well i'm not sure yet anyway there we go 10 stars nice um, that does need to be recubed, but I don't have access to cubes right now. Let me check, actually, just real quick. I actually have a couple hard cubes. Let's see if we can roll. Uh, do I have any stamps? I do. I want to go ahead and stamp this before I try to cube it. Maybe we can get two-line luck, get real lucky with it. You know what I'm saying? No, okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, we'll work on this over time. Let's just get back to grinding. I'm still not second job. Because it just takes so long to do these prerequisite quests. Dumpy. I literally just typed in dumpy into the... I unironically typed in dumpy into the search bar just now. Stop this. <laughs> Stop showing the dumpy. Am I allowed to get second job? Oh. <laughs> you can get second job. You can get second job whatever you want. I didn't know that. It's good to know, I guess. Oops.
weird quirk of uh, rig servers is getting old useless scroll drops from random mobs. Um, I don't know if there's anything super useful that you can find. Maybe like some shoe spike scrolls from Hector's and stuff. Last chance to look at me, Hector. When playing rig servers, you sometimes get scroll drops and they're almost always worthless. There are a couple that would be useful. I'm thinking like, if there's a mob that drops uh, shield weapon attack scrolls, that would be useful. Otherwise, I don't know of any other than that and the shoe spike scrolls. Yeah, I just wanted to point that out because that's something we might see every so often. All right, time for a check-in. I am looking amazing in my full pencil ear. Really nothing incredible to report here. I got a decent Von Leon chain off the auction house for 15 million mesos. And we're sitting at about 2.6k stat. Still not at 200 yet. Uh, I actually ended up spending a lot more time editing this video today than I expected. So I'm not 100% sure I'll actually go for 200 today, but I'll keep pushing. Obviously our Chaos Pink Bean Mark is still not good to go. We're still at no useful lines on it, but at least the flame is good. Um, other than that, there's not a whole lot more to report. But we do need to talk about some Link Skill Mules. I am currently missing a few level 3 Link Skills. Um, it might be easier to view this from my Legion. So a few of them that come to mind. First of all, Demon Slayer. That's important for damage. Uh, Demon Avenger as well. I don't even think I have a Demon Avenger on this account, to be honest with you. Jeez. I also need to get my Beast Tamer to 210. I also need to get my Aaron to 210. My Barra Legion and Link skills setup is not ideal, and we're going to have to spend a lot of time working on it to bring it up to par. But I really don't want to make that the entire focus of this series. I do need to assign this character to Legion, though. I really don't want to make that the focus of this series because it's just... It's not what we're here for. We're here for the Kadena. So I will bring it up, I will mention it, I will talk about it briefly, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time discussing it. It'll just be something I do on my own time. One thing we have going on right now that's really helpful is the Rock Spirit event, and this gives a lot of EXP. I've been wasting them, honestly. The first four rewards I wasted on just leveling uh, boss mules to level 210, which is a whole other thing that we need to talk about at some point. And I'll use these experience coupons to level up, I think... Demon Slayer first, because that will be the most important. Yeah, 5% more boss damage. So I am going to have to make a Demon Avenger at some point, but if we look at the daily gifts here, um, we don't get another mega character Burninator from this month of April. We'll have to wait till May to do that, so I might end up just waiting until then. I'm really not killing myself on making sure that every little tiny thing is accounted for, because I did that in Reboot and it took a year and I didn't really get a whole lot done. In this series, we're focused on the Kadena. I just wanted to mention all these other things because they're kind of important. But that's enough from me. I'm gonna go get back to the grind, try to hit 200 so we can talk about a few things. You know what I just realized? You know what I just realized? Well, there's something else that we have to talk about. Because I need a two times coupon. So, take it away, future me. Thanks, past me. Two times cards. They come in various flavors, but are almost always a consumable item that increases drop rate, meso rate, or EXP rate by a set amount for a set duration. Outside of Reboot in GMS, we have something a little extra. Two times cash shop EXP coupons. They cost $1.80 a piece and double monster EXP gains. They're only usable until level 250, at which point they no longer have any effect. These are kind of the backbone of grinding up until that point. And I'm going to have to spend a lot of mesos and NX on these dumb things. I wish I was strong-willed enough to tell you guys that I could grind without them, but that's just not true. Pretty much any time that I'm grinding pre-250, I'll have one of these bad boys in my inventory. It's also worth noting quickly that there used to be two times drop coupons in the cash shop as well, which doubled both your drop rate and mesos obtained, but those were removed last year and it was probably for the best since they didn't have a level cap and were basically mandatory to have on you at all times. 
At least with these EXP coupons, there's a light at the end of the tunnel to look forward to. In all honesty, I'd probably prefer that they removed these two, but I'm not gonna nitpick. I'm the one who chose to play Barra. Alright, I need reward points. How many? I don't know. I think 1800? I can get a one day, two times EXP special coupon. Or... I could go cash in a billion mesos, or a couple hundred million, and get myself... I'm not gonna be able to use the meso market. Yeah, I can't use the meso market yet. So, what's the most realistic approach to this? Well, first things first, let me go check my other characters and see if I have any reward points that I can claim right now. I do not think I've done weekly bosses on this character. I don't think I've done anything on this character. Well, there you go. 2,800 right there. That's pretty convenient, actually. Well, problem solved. So this is one of the benefits of having boss mules in both Reboot and Barra. You can only claim the reward points per boss once a day per world. So if I do a full rotation of every boss in Reboot, I can get all the reward points for those once. If I do a full rotation of bosses in Barra as well on the same day, I can also get all of the reward points from those as well on the same day. But that's it. That's all I'm going to be able to do. I'm going to have to wait until the next day to get more reward points. So what might end up happening in the future is I might start doing my weekly bosses on my boss mules on separate days so I can max out my reward points. As you know now, reward points are very valuable in reg servers. So I'm going to want to make sure I get as many of those as possible. And it actually means that having these characters in reboot is a big benefit. So let's go ahead and grab this two times EXP card and get back to the grind. We're going to be using as much of this as possible. I am going to sleep soon, but tomorrow, all grinding. One of the things that we haven't really discussed yet in this series is monster collection. As you can see, I have 400 monsters collected and I need 600 to max out the collection in its current form. I only have three 24 hours. I need a couple more and uh, it's not really a huge priority, but I figure as I'm here leveling to 200, I can go ahead and try and knock out some of the monsters that I would want to get in the future anyway. So. Just figured I would uh, mention that because, like I said, monster collection's not a huge priority, but it is something that I'm thinking about. Okay, this guy just smegged. I hope nobody teleports to me. Please don't. Fucking, I'm gonna do it because I'm a fucking idiot. And we're gonna see... Oh, this could be bad. Okay, 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 okay. End of day. It is the end of the day for me. That might sound a little tired. Uh, I am. I drank coffee two hours ago just so I could stay up a little longer and grind some more, but I'm way too tired now. I got to level 180. I spent a lot of time today working on the actual video instead of grinding, so I didn't quite reach the goal of 200. Tomorrow, though, uh, we'll come back and get to 200, and we'll talk about a few more things. There's plenty to discuss.